Hey, it's Vaughn here at your jazzdrumschool.com YouTube channel. Aloha, hope you're doing well. So in this video lesson, I wanna share with you about something that is incredibly important for your drumming career now and in the future. I'm talking about posture, baby. Posture may not be sexy, may not be this great topic we wanna to all talk about, but it really impacts how we play. Think about the great Phil Collins. Basically his career in music ended recently because of severe back issues. And reading articles about that and interviews with him, he attributes all that to his playing drums and his poor posture while he played. Now I'll be the first to tell you, I do not always have the best posture. Uh, in fact, I slouch a lot, and I always have, and it's some, kind of this battle for me that I constantly struggle with in trying to sit up straight while I play. Uh, I've tried uh, uh, working on strengthening my back muscles and my ab muscles and all kinds of stuff, and that definitely helps. If I didn't do that, I know my posture would be worse. But there's a tool that I got years ago that has helped me tremendously, <laughs> and I think sometimes we need a little boost. Sometimes a tool is a really good thing. So the tool I'm talking about is this thing. It's called an egg sitter cushion, and I have another video about this. Click on the link here and also down in the description. Uh, it's a really great tool. This thing has basically saved my drumming career. Before I got this, I used to be in so much pain between sets of music that I could hardly stand up. Uh, I had severe sciatica, I had lower lumbar spinal issues. Uh, this really has helped me a lot. All right, so here's the inside of the, the cushion. It's kind of this patented honeycomb design. There are other knockoffs out there. Uh, I, I've never tried them, but I know that the, the contour of this is really helpful in the original egg sitter cushion. And that is kind of at the base of your spine. It's kind of a little kind of indentation, a little dip in the, in the material, which makes you feel like you're floating. It's really magical uh, and it feels so, so good. So I'll put the link here above and also down below in, in the description so you can go check it out. But what I wanna do right now is I wanna A-B for you. The, the first time through, I'm not gonna use the cushion. You kinda check out my posture. The second time I'm gonna use the cushion, you can see kind of the difference. Uh, I'm not gonna focus on, oh, am I sitting up straight kind of stuff. I'm really just gonna focus on what I'm playing and uh, play long enough to where I would kinda fall into my normal posture habits and you can kind of maybe see the difference in uh, using the cushion or not using the cushion. All right, check it out. One, a two, one, a two, a three, a two, one. So I was playing a little bit of Bossa Nova for you, and if you're looking to get your Brazilian drumming bag together, I encourage you to check out my Brazilian drumming course at jazzdrumschool.com. You can click on the link up here and down below in the description. You learn how to play Bossa Nova, Samba, and another really cool groove called Bayão 
like a champ. So what'd you think? Can you tell a difference? I don't know. For me, I wasn't watching, so I wasn't sure, and I, I got to go back and review the video. But I really think that using the cushion just feels so much easier to sit up straight, okay? Uh, and so I just encourage you to look into it if you're looking for something to help you play the drums your best. Now, of course, with posture, there's lots of different ways you can approach it. You can just sit up straight, like force yourself to sit up straight like this. Uh, I don't think that is particularly helpful. I think when we're playing drums, we really should be relaxed and uh, forcing our muscles to be tense or to sit up straight is going to be working against ourselves. So I think whatever you choose to do with your posture, uh, certainly you want to do it in a way where it feels natural and feels comfortable and feels like a way you can hold your body for extended periods of time. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you like it. That helps to get around YouTube a little easier. And drop a comment. Let me know if you're using a cushion on your drum throne or if any kind of special drum throne you like to use. And uh, any tips you might have for posture when you play drums. All right. Keep swinging, my friend.